Hi guys, I shall be reviewing the NVIDIA Shield K1. It's now running Android 7 over the prior version Android 6. If to the full disclosure, I got this with my own money with a deal with my parents. So all of my opinions are my own. No one's paying for this video, but no one's ever paid for a video. So it's a re-review and let's hit away. Okay, there's no real difference to the actual tablet. Other than software wise, hardware is all the same. So, this is the stock launcher, same. I recommend Nova, but it gives you extra features, but still being the same. So, you've got your recent apps or most commonly used apps up the top. You've got your list of apps as you may recognize in an Android launcher. You've got You've got also um home return app drawer. So I'll show you what happens when you now I'll show you now what you can do in Android when you have multiple apps open. I'll open here Google Play. Then I quit. Then I shall open Play music. So I've got over here the app, so I've opened, sorry about the technical difficulty. So, two apps as you can tell. If I double click on the recent apps button, it will switch apps. As you can tell, I'm flying through it. If I hold down on it, it will split it to the side or top, depending on which view. You've got your other app, so you can select it. And now you're multitasking. So you're multitasking. So you could be doing a research assignment on one side, and you could be doing a. Ugh, dick god. So you can be doing a research assignment, then you can also be doing a Word document. Side by side, doing two things at once, and it works. It's better on the bigger tablets, but it also works here. Oh, dear God, Google. Nvidia haven't worked out the bugs, but it's heading there. up oh dear god ah oh, shit redo Ooh, yeah, I fixed myself. So I'm back. So adding to the multitasking on the I'm going to get two apps which I know will work. 
including Google, loading. So I hold down reasons, but if I exit when browsing for an app, you see that little bar on the right or left indicating that it's still open. So I've got Google open and I'll open Play Store. You could be finding for the best location for a movie and scenario. But then there's a little bar in the middle. You can drag holding on it depending on where you want the window to go. Saying you want your window Lay that like this way. Wait for it to adjust. Maybe you're watching Netflix and you want to have your game chat window on the side or, you know. So that's the multitask thing. Oh, holding returns to one full window. Um, the notification shade. Now it looks different. When you swipe down, you used to get notification. You swipe again, you get the whole thing. Now you get these toggles at the top. Like in Samsung and HTC. What this trying to aim to do is have quick access to it. Meaning that I will be on my device, I'm like, hey, dang, Wi-Fi, done. Hey, dang, YouTube, done. Not YouTube, Bluetooth, done. Hey, yeah, rotation lock on. Bang, all like that. So you've got that. But if you hold down the icon, let's say, Wi-Fi, you get it. So you get all these, to get to your Wi-Fi, like that. And I hit the clear all button, which is exclusive to NVIDIA. I've got that. Settings has the revamp. So let's say I go settings. Settings has got a revamp. Being one layer. Telling you what Wi-Fi connect to. For example, my Telstra router. That's equivalent to AT&T from America. Bluetooth disabled or turned off. A stylus. Android 7.0 is your version. If I swipe from the right side, I've got all these different options. So I could be in Wi Fi and say, hey, I want to access printing settings. You've got that. So that's a nice feature. We've got um, we've got also it's look it's been upgraded but not we've got multiple pages now so I can swipe between the two as you can see. The third party apps you can add, do it, you can edit. Like if I want to reshuffle this around, like I add the share button to this. Your brightness, I've got. Which is all nice. What's new in the NVIDIA Shield Accessory app is you can support the new Shield controller. So in 7 you get that, so if you're someone who has Android 6 on your tablet still and you're like, Oh, I don't want 7. Oh, I don't need all those crazy features. 6 is running fine. I don't want extra junk on my system. True, but there are benefits of using new controllers because it's special software in the system.
some special software comes in handy. So that is the tablet in 7. So that was the NVIDIA Shield Carrier on running 7. If you want the full review or the original review, you can find it on my YouTube channel. It should be up here, 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 or in the link description. So that should be there, or you can find it via my channel or in the playlist. <sighs> so that was the tablet. There's no, other than the system, there's no real changes. I highly recommend it. Still the fastest tablet. I'm in Australia, so if you're wondering. Thank you, and see ya.